Alrighty guys, we are still at Blade Show 2013 and I'm here with Daniel Winkler of Winkler Knives. This is a new brand, kind of a newer brand at Blade HQ, but they carry some awesome stuff. Daniel, tell us how you got into this. Well back, actually when I was in high school, I started being, I developed an interest in shooting black powder firearms and so I wanted to out my, fit myself with the other equipment that went along with it, knives and powder horns and shooting pouches. And so I would do projects for high school shop class that went along with this. And as I, as I made more knives and went to shooting matches and black powder events, then I started making extra pieces that I would sell to pay for gas money and blanket prizes or whatever. And it kind of grew from that. And I did it as sort of a part-time hobby business from the mid 70s until 1988. And then in 1988, went full time into the forged pieces that I've done for so long. And uh, we, Karen and I have both been at it full time, no looking back since then. That's awesome. And you guys make some awesome stuff. Well, I was just, I was talking to, I think was that your wife I was talking uh, yes, to? Yes, Karen, uh-huh. And uh, she was telling me kind of the start with all of these tactical sort of things. Well, the tactical, the tactical direction didn't come back because we really were were trying to get into a new market segment. It was sort of a, I won't say an accident, but it, it kind of came to us because I had a, in fact, this is interesting because this axe was the first part of the tactical direction that we went. I had a Navy SEAL came to me to help develop a very functional, strong, yet compact combination combat breaching axe. So we developed this full tang model with a, the 3 8 inch thick head, all integral. Okay. 30 minutes. So anyway, fr from that point, we started doing some more work for some of these military special operation teams because they didn't, they weren't able to find the tools and especially equipment that they were looking for uh, currently available. So I helped with the development design of these pieces and originally we were going to farm out these designs to another manufacturer to actually produce them. But because of the, the design concepts that I had and what these guys needed as far as weight distribution and strength factor and function, there were some limitations to that for most for common manufacturing. Plus, they also needed smaller numbers. You know, instead of needing a thousand of something, they might need twenty of something. So it was not enough to really entice the manufacturers to set up tooling and operations to make these pieces. And it was too much for an individual maker to take on to make that many pieces within the time frame that we wanted to work in. So we ended up setting up our own limited production facility to accommodate these high quality products with the features that I thought needed to be there and the guys that I was working with wanted but yet in the numbers of 200 to down to 20 pieces that we could manufacture and still you know make a little money at it so it kind of grew word of mouth within the military community expanded it from team to team and then as we were doing this expansion, we started offering some pieces to the general public because the more we could make, the lower we could get the price and we could outfit more of the teams because they had limited funding. And so it all came about from there. And now we've, we've built up to where we have eight people besides myself working in the shop uh, full time, all the time. And we, we continually run these products and it, it continues to grow both when in new designs and specialty designs and our, our regular tried designs that have been with us since the beginning just continually getting stronger and more popular so it's it. it's gone off very well and all starting from this primitive styling from the black powder industry where my my interests were from the beginning so we use design concepts and ideas that are not much in the way of frills and gimmicks and you know, it's pretty straightforward yeah. cutting equipment, but then with a lot of emphasis put into performance. What, what's your uh, best-selling knife? What's what's the very best you've got? <clears throat> Probably the best-selling uh, design we've got is what we call our belt knife. 
It's just a simple, straightforward belt knife with a slight thumb rise and thumb drop, so it's comfortable to use. Uh, we do it in a variety of finishes and handle materials. Uh, the maple is probably the most popular. Uh, we can. We also can do some serrations on it. We do the recycled rubber handles, which has an extremely secure grip, either wet or dry. So it, it becomes a very functional piece. Uh, and we can even go into you know the the camouflage KG finishes. So. Uh, we do desert camo and woodland and more of a, a universal camo finish to where some of our customers, that becomes very important to their, their gear, their, yeah. uh, their equipment kit. So that's probably our number one selling piece of all. Love it. I, I took a look at a bunch of your, your hatchets, your axes the other day at work. Yeah, axes is where we started from. It's uh, cool stuff. I we, mean, you, don't, you don't find stuff that looks like what you guys are selling. Right. Well, we, we do the, the full tapered skeletonized tang axes, so they, they have a lot of strength because of the 3 8 inch stock, but yet the weight is distributed in such a way to where even you have a lightweight axe that may be you know, around a pound and a half to a pound and a quarter, it's not a lot of overall weight, but it's proportioned properly where the weight is in the head, so you can really get a much more powerful swing even though it's an overall lighter weight axe. Yeah. It's an expensive process to do a full tapered skeletonized tang, but it's the only way that I've found to really get that proper strength and balance with the reduced weight and, and not really compromise the importance of, of performance. Very nice. If you guys haven't checked out their knives, I, I'm just going to straight up recommend it because I, I got them and started playing with them, and it's like these are cool. There's a well, cool we, factor that we, you just don't see in other knives, you know. We 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 really try hard to make them very functional and comfortable and easy to use, and uh, I've had a lot of success with it. So I, I apparently we must be doing something right because we we continue to grow and and hope this this continues and we can do more designs and more variety and and it's not like I want to have something for everybody but I want to be sure that everything we do is the right tool for someone so it, it's it's you know very little compromise here very good Daniel thanks for being on with us be sure to buy Winkler knives at bladehq.com that's the place right that's right <laughs> thank you thank you Daniel right. we'll have more coming up from Blade Show 2013 be sure to subscribe and buy your knives at bladehq.com. Thanks for watching, guys.